What's up, YouTube? It's your boy again, Yarbo, aka Django 3000 with DB Crappy Fishing and Outdoors. Uh, like I said before, early in the video, uh, this is the portion of the video where I, I show you my boat setup, uh, mainly because we had some subscribers ask, uh, could you please show us how you got your boat, your light set up in particular, and uh, how long does it generally take for your bait fish to come in after you turn your lights on? Well, I can't show you that portion of the video today because actually I'm, I'm not fishing, like say earlier. We're not going fishing because of the full moon. We're actually going next weekend. Um, but um, I will show you how I have my lights uh, set up. And to go a step further, I'll let you see how I'm rigged up for uh, nighttime crappy fishing uh, tight line. So uh, if you would, just hang in there with me, man, as I get out the truck and uh, make my way over there to my, uh, my boat so I can show you what's going on. One second. Here we go. This is uh, this is my boat right here. CK2. CK means crappy killer. Number two. Crappy killer number one. I don't know if you can see it back there. That's what started that. The whole phenomenon right there, if you can see it. Yes, sir. If you get on that boat right now, you're going to catch some crappy. I promise you. Well, that's CK1 back there. This is my pride and joy, CK2. And uh, if you guys uh, have never seen any of my videos, this, this is the boat that I actually fish on. I fish uh, the front portion of the boat. Most of my guests fish the back. But uh, as you can see, I got my rods mounted to the front and I'm pushing. Uh, well, uh, I, got it, I got it set up for pushing, rather. I'm using uh look like 18 inch drift masters with the uh, um, with the round t-bar uh the round t-bar is so i can adjust the the rod holders you know tilt it up and down you know it's pretty much as high as they're gonna go but um i can control the depth of my uh, rod tilt by tilting these uh, rod holders up and down my lights that i use I use three-way LED lights. These are 27 watt lights. And man, when I tell you, you only need one, you only need one of these lights on the front of your boat. I actually run two though. That may be the reason why I'm so successful, but the reason why you only need one, if you can see this, these light cast, I mean, these LEDs cast light from the front from both sides of the actual of the light itself so i got 180 degrees worth of uh, light out there so by the time these two you know they come together in front of my boat man i tell you i got nothing but light shining down on my water and uh they are so bright that it only takes a few minutes to draw the bait fish in the way i want i got this actually goes up like this one of my screws came out I had a wing nut on it. The wing nut came out, so the, the boat came out with it. That's why that was hanging down like that. But those are the lights that I actually have on my boat. I got them rigged up with, I don't have them on a switch. What I do have is uh, I got wire connectors. Uh, I got one, I got the two off the lights when I get ready to fish at night. I guess this is, this is the other one here. I just plug them in. Uh, stay with me, I'm using one hand. I plug them in. I guess I can get it in now. Hold up a second. And that's what I'm working with. As you can see, I got light on both sides of that. So I got actually three beams that's coming out in a 80 degree 
perimeter around my boat 180 degrees but I actually got two of them so I just show you how bright it is on the front of my boat but that's all I got man and uh I don't drop a green light in the water that in my opinion is just too much light man and uh if you're dropping if you're running LEDs off the front of your boat and you're dropping a green light man you're really just wasting your time because it's too much light fish the crappy they need to be able to uh attack from cover from 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 the darkness the dark they use that darkness as a, a ambushing point so a lot of times we tell you guys we fish outside the light that's what we're talking about we're fishing just outside the uh the circumference of the light beam on the water so uh that's what we're doing the the gear on the other hand i'm gonna come back to you if you give me just a second i'm gonna cut to that video but I'm gonna show you how I rig up for nighttime crappy fishing using my uh, whooping sticks. Uh, if, you, if you don't know what those are, I put a video out there telling you where you can purchase them so you can see <laughs> these magic sticks I use out here on Lake Oconee and other various places. But stay with me one second. I'll be right back with you just to show you my, uh, my setup. Right, what's up YouTube? I'm back with you, man. Uh, uh, like I was talking about before, I want to show you guys my setup that we tight line fish with. Um, I start out to start out. I have I have a 10 foot Cabela whooping stick. Whooping spell like whooping, W H U P P I N. Great rod, 24 bucks. Cabela.com. Great crappy fishing rod slash catfish slash bass rod. It actually translates perfectly between all three of those fish species. I use this 10 foot rod to do primarily all my night fishing. I use it, I use it coupled with six pound Mr. Crappy fishing line. High visibility. Uh, high vis at night under the lights but invisible in the water. Great line to use. Lightweight. Crappy will not hit a heavy line. If you don't believe me, Rig up a 20 pound test line and see how many crappies you catch with it. None, I promise you. Well, I use, I use that as my primary weapons, but my rig is quite simple, quite easy. In my opinion, the best rig you're going to use for tight line crappy fishing, especially at night. I start out with uh, no big, no smaller than a quarter ounce egg sinker you, you you can buy any kind of sinker but i like these egg sinkers uh they 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 like friction frictionless in water you know what i'm saying when the when the water is moving it doesn't have any flat surfaces on it that uh the water can can catch easily but i start out with no less than a quarter size sinker i use this primarily because you know it holds your line tight in the water and it keeps it still in choppy water. When, you, when the water's choppy at night, it keeps the line tight and you don't have that much movement on your bait. It keeps that bait down and right where it needs to be. And uh, when, the, when the water's real choppy, it doesn't, it doesn't affect your bait to the extent where you get hung up, your, your hooks get hung up on your, your weight. Like a lot of times when you use uh, split shots, this is actually, in my opinion, just a better weight to use. I follow that up with uh, a rubber bobber stopper. If you can see that, that's what I use right there. Why do I use these? Quite frankly, you use a rubber bobber stopper behind your, your, uh, your egg sinker, and it serves the purpose for not using a swivel. You can move this weight, I mean, you can use this weight up and down as needed. See, I can move it up. All I have to do is move that rubber bobber stopper and I, I change the position of my egg sinker. Then you tie a hook on the end. Most of the time I'm, I'm using red number two Mr. Crappy hooks. Red, just my per personal preference. Uh, I, I believe that it's red, these red hooks draw more hits from crappy. Don't know why, just my opinion. I've caught a lot of crappy 
and I catch more with the red hooks versus galvanized hook, gold hooks, whatever you want to call them. I catch more crappy with these with these type hooks. But uh, like I say, you use your egg sinker, couple with your rubber bobber stop. There's no need to use a, a swivel. And a lot of times, if you get hung on debris, get hung on a brush pile. Your hook is the first thing that breaks off. So a lot of times when your hook breaks off, you still got your your bubble, your bobble stop on it and your uh, your weight. Just just a great setup. And then a lot of times when I'm trolling, I use the exact same setup except under this weight right here, I tie off a foot foot and a half off of that. I tie uh, one eight uh, eight ounce jig head and then I either go off another foot and a half off that one and tie another eight ounce jig head or either just put a hook on the bottom with with a minnow so a lot of times when I'm trolling I'm trolling with a minnow and a, a jig but that's how I fish at night and I, I catch a lot of fish this way you know I don't know how the other guys they set up their rods but this primarily is how I set up every rod that I fish when I tight line I never really run doubles I tried running doubles, but one is it's cumbersome because a lot of times when you get hit with a double, the, the hooks, they always seem to jumble up with each other, man. Or, you know, this, the, um, the jig, a lot of times, if it don't attract, if it doesn't attract fish, it scares the fish off because you either get, you either get hits on the jig or you won't get hits at all on that rod on that particular rod so uh that's how i set up my rod for uh tight line fishing and like i said this is the exact same setup for trolling as well a lot of times and when i troll though that uh that uh that sinker is gonna be three quarter ounces i use real heavy weight when i um troll either in the spring or fall so with that being said if you guys like this information you like this video man hit that like button or you know better yet share it and subscribe to our channel because you know we need all the support we can get and we love hearing what you guys have to say you know say so uh until that next time man uh y'all holler back at your boys uh db crappy fishing outdoors man we out of here peace